I recently had a few hours to play around with integrating jQuery Mobile into this um, Open Goal Tracker prototype that I've been playing with lately. And wow, it's, it's great not having to, or well, for me as a developer, not having to think about certain UI issues, such as how to create a touch-friendly UI. So just for a quick demo, um, so I can yeah, add goals as per normal, click on a goal, we come to here, update why it's actually important to me. Um, let's just copy and paste that instead. Uh, I'll do that. Copy. All right, so I can um, make things bold as well, etc. Let's just. And yeah, this is still using YUI 3.5's um, model view router interface. Now, I've actually realized I want to update the title here, so I want to enjoy creating music on the guitar. And you can see the, yeah, the view automatically updates when the model changes. And let's just add a few first steps. So I want to... Okay, so I've started setting up the goal and the, what I'm going to do to achieve that goal. Um, if I click back, we can see it's automatically um, yeah, reflects the, any changes in the model. I also want to um, all right, and so we get lots of other goodness, which is automatically built into jQuery uh, Mobile, such as you know I can filter client side. Um, yeah, yeah, obviously if I have lots of goals, that'll become more useful. I can still all the standard um, HTML5 stuff, so explore the possibility of UFOs in Germany. That'll be interesting. Oh, look at that. Um, Germany. There you go. Um, and what else? I think that's... Yeah, that was about all I wanted to show. I probably will switch over from using UE35's uh, model view router to using Backbone JS, which is what the UE model view router framework's based on. Um, but yeah, the documentation's excellent, and I guess if I'm using jQuery Mobile, it, yeah, at the moment I've, I'm having to call out to jQuery Mobile from within views um, within the UE code, which is yeah, not so nice. But yeah, we'll see how we go.